On the 18th of October, I released a video talking about features I really want added to Crusader Kings 3 and since playing the game for hundreds of hours more, I have some more ideas I'd like to bring to you. And exactly like last time, it's just a discussion so feel free to disagree or bring your own ideas in the comments, I'm really interested to hear everything. And if you do enjoy this sort of content, feel free to subscribe, it does really help out. Anyway. The first thing I'd really like to see added into Crusader Kings 3 is a feature I and probably many of you miss from CK2's Reapers Do DLC. Of course, proper epidemics that spread throughout the world. CK3 does currently have diseases, but other than a few potential deaths, they always feel very unimportant and it never ends up being too much of a worry. <laughs> Although I imagine big changes will eventually come and add epidemics back in a paid DLC, but who knows how long that will take. Plus, I guess due to recent world events that we won't mention, it may cause them to not really sit so soon. But I just miss seeing the diseases spread across the map slowly coming towards your cities and having to take the damaging decision to close your city gates in hopes of stopping the plague from devastating your court. The Sinews of War mod does actually currently have this, where a plague might enter a town, and you can take some steps to try and prevent it from spreading to neighbouring counties, as it recently happened on my Live Wales campaign, and it got into my capital and caused absolute havoc, infecting everybody. But if it does make its way into CK3, I'd like to see more uncertainty added to them. I've seen somebody on Reddit suggest having a court physician attempt to diagnose people, and depending on their skill, the higher chance they have of correctly identifying the disease, giving them a better treatment and better preventing it from spreading any further, as well as simply just loads more events that can happen, with major outbreaks being so rare but something you actually have to worry about, similar to what happened in my Sinews of War playthrough like I mentioned earlier. I can just imagine rumours of an extremely deadly plague making its way towards you, allowing you to prepare early and making the right decision could be the difference between your family being severely weakened by the plague or accidentally acting on lies. Closing your gates causing unrest in your counties as the economy tanks and the peasants start to rebel your incompetence. This will just make the decisions surrounding the epidemics more intense and more important than ever. Next is a feature inspired by the Fallen Eagles recent update, as they have added the ability to build monuments depicting you, your family or fierce champions in your court. They have a few different materials like marble and gold, with each one having different costs and different effects, but I'm sure Paradox could take this even further. I know Imperator Rome has the Great Wonder mechanic and I just think something like this would be great for Crusader Kings 3. This would allow you to build a giant temple in your capital filled with gold and marble, truly making your land unique compared to the rest of the world. And each wonder could allow you to select between a bunch of different modifiers to the county and the holder of the county. Now this is just a rough idea in my head, but for the types you could have a selection of buildings, such as religious buildings or general production buildings that could improve the output of any other buildings in that hold-in. So anything built there could get a small percent buff to every stat they have, or towers giving defense modifiers, higher control and boosting your martial, or even making it so prisoners are a lot less likely to escape from capture as well as monuments of your family giving major bonuses to prestige and renown. I'm sure you get the idea and if something like this was to come to the game, I'm sure there would be a lot more than what I mentioned. But right now, building is the same everywhere and something like this could make building a lot more fun. The next feature is probably my most wanted addition. I just think it will add such a massive amount of content to the game. Now, this was mainly inspired by the work in progress mod by Castox, so I did get some footage from him to use as an example. And if you want to see any further updates about this mod or any others that he makes, I'll leave his channel in the description and of course in the comments. But this feature would add the ability to trade and negotiate with other rulers, allowing you to buy, trade and sell titles, artifacts or even arrange marriages with other families and using gold to sweeten the deal just a little bit. There's just so much potential with a feature like this being added by Paradox. I mean, 
personally, I'm happy enough just using the mods to get these features, but I know many people don't use mods and prefer to just play vanilla CK. I am interested to hear some of your thoughts about something like this being added to CK3, as it will be a pretty major change, and I imagine it will come with its own variety of balance issues, but just imagine the use for this in big multiplayer games, which the mod by Castox will be multiplayer compatible, so you can bet we'll be running this mod all the time once it's released, that's for sure. Also, this idea could be expanded and used for wars, with the ability to negotiate peace deals earlier in a war depending on your war score. So, say you went to war against Britannia and the war score was on 90%, you could potentially negotiate with the Emperor and try to get the Kingdom of Wales and agree to peace early and just leave the war there. I'm sure that's not the best example, but more flexible war goals rather than just win, lose or draw would make wars a lot more interesting. But yeah, his channel will be linked below, so make sure you go and check that out for some nice mod updates and dancing anime girls. Next up, we have an idea commented on the original features I want to see added video, and that's a big religious overhaul. And since that comment, we have seen the major changes that cultures have had with the 1.5 update, so the faith system feels even more limited in comparison now. So, the idea is that completely new religious groups could be created, giving the player full control over their religion, from deciding where to have the holy sites and choosing the bonuses controlling them will give you, deciding what traits get classed as virtues and sins, and I think the most important addition for this would be more tenets and doctrines added to the game, as more customizability is never a bad thing. And as we have seen with the culture update, it could be slightly tweaked to allow us to control the clothes of our clergy. I'm sure you do get the idea, but I just think the roleplay aspects of this would be massive. And the last idea I have for today is events while being on the Allegiance Council. Now, this may seem pretty small in comparison to the rest of the features I mentioned, but more events and flavour in CK3, just like the last thing, is never a bad thing. And right now, being on a Legion's council is kind of boring. You get bonuses and that's it. There's not much else to it. So say you're this spy master, you would have to assist them doing plots, from assassinations to fabricating hooks. You could have event chains while setting up a murder of another vassal, giving you the ability to betray your liege and purposely fail the task. Of course, risking punishment if you're discovered as a traitor. Or being a steward and having events while collecting taxes, potentially letting you betray your liege again and attempt to steal some of the money. Or do the job so well your liege gains opinion of you. And of course with Marshall you could train some troops, risking injury or embarrassment and so on. I just think this could add so much more to being a vassal and further increase the roleplay potential the game has. And you may have noticed, most of these features mainly help with the roleplay aspect of the game, as I just think that's what sets this game apart from other grand strategy games, so that's what I'd like to see expanded further. Now that's like all the main changes of the video, but I just wanted to end on a quick note on the multiplayer of CK3, as it is just so fun, but in its current state it's so unstable, to the point where people have tried to join us with the exact same checksum and the game just refuses. Paired with the crashes and game breaking bugs, meaning everyone has just wasted 5 hours. I know it's not really the main focus of Crusader Kings, but I'd love to see a mod system similar to Gary's mod, where you join the game and it will automatically download the mods from the workshop and order them for you, making it so much easier when there's a lot of people playing. And the next one is something I'm not sure if Paradox could do, but it'd be nice to actually have dedicated servers available to use to allow more players to join in without having to rely on one person to host a game to over 30 people, which will obviously come with speed issues. Although, that's not to say I don't enjoy the multiplayer in CK3, and the same goes for CK3 as a whole. It is one of my favourite games, and I'm really excited to see how it develops in the future. Anyway, like I said, if you disagree or have some other ideas, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. We're going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermio1, Irrelevant, Luke Jarrett, Zigadelic, Random Icelander, Dover404, Harold Volmer, Victor Voss Anderson, and Swirling Vortex of Entropy. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.